Adams here now for a look at sports and a local figure skating club is basking in the glow of national success. Mm -hmm. Ice Palace figure mm -hmm. skating getting a lot of attention these days. Yes, they skate at a West Edmonton Mall getting a lot of attention and with good reason, guys. Uh, the club had eight skaters who qualified for the Canadian Figure Skating Championships out in New Brunswick, including a 16-year-old girl who came out of nowhere to win a medal. That is the most we've had and every year we're building and we've had a lot of um, success this year, so it's been really great. The biggest surprise out in Moncton was 16-year-old Caitlin Osmond from Sherwood Park. In her debut at Senior Nationals, Osmond won the Lady Short program and came home with a coveted bronze medal, a shocking result on the Canadian figure skating scene. Well, I think if you watch the video, you can actually see the shock on my face. Like, that was seven points above my last personal best in the short. So when I saw my score, and I'm like, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Not only did they not know her before, she's also one of the youngest skaters in the event, and she was doing the most difficult technical content. No one was expecting a newcomer to come up out of nowhere, and at least I could just show it. Natasha Purich and Raymond Schultz also made their debut at Senior Nationals in pairs. They finished eighth overall, but also posted a personal best. They look at next year as being a possible breakthrough season. Our Canadian reigning champions got fourth so they need medal so that just shows you anything can happen. Caitlin Osmond will be going to the Junior World Championship in Belarus at the end of February. Well, Emily Lacoste won gold in the senior ladies competition, knocking off defending champion Cynthia Fanup. But Skate Canada says the lone berth at the world is still up for grabs. Officials say neither Lacoste nor Fanup delivered a convincing enough performance at nationals. So it will be decided in a skate-off at the Four Continents event next month in Colorado. This has created a minor controversy in the sport, but it has happened before. I think they are seeing her as someone who is more capable due to her past record at international events because she's been the top five before. So they're hoping that she can get to that level again. You'd think that if you won, you'd go to the Worlds, and which I think is understandable. But I guess if you're undecided, a skate-off wouldn't be too bad. Now, if a Canadian finishes in the top ten at the Worlds, Canada receives another berth in next year's World Championships. Well,